Hello Gemini and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your first half of June tarot reading for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. As always, this reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So let's see what we have for Gemini. Thank you. Angel Spirits Guides. We have three cards. Seven of Swords. Three of Pentacles and the king of pentacles let's see where that's leading five of cups justice judgment the star we have the five of swords the ten of swords and we have the ten of wands So this feels like some kind of uh, experience that you're going through here, Gemini. There's been some kind of deception. It could be in money terms with the King of Pentacles, or it could be in terms of relationship, to be honest. Um, King of Pentacles, Gemini, st stable, secure, solid, abundant energy as well. But the Seven of Swords can be some level of deception. Now, that can be concealment, not being above board, lies, stealing, doing something covertly. So you're dealing with that kind of person. This could be a person in business. Um, it could be um, a friend, family member, love romance, again, however the specifics apply to you. We have the three of wands. Something is looking very positive for you, however, how you've taken steps in response to someone's deception on some level. Uh, the, people can seal a lot of the time because, you know, they want to kind of uh, not be above board. That can be things like disclosing assets or disclosing earnings or disclosing, you know, money or, you know, being completely above board in uh, however that process would apply to you. But this feels like somebody has been deceptive. Now, it can be deception on other levels. It doesn't necessarily have to just be material aspects. It can be someone has been deceptive and something's ending as a result of that. It could be a relationship. Or friendship. Because this can be a process that you're going through where you're making some kind of decision. I mean, really with justice and judgment being here as well, it can indicate going through some kind of process, like a legal process, government institutions, arbitration, unions, however that manifests for you. And the star being in the reading indicates that a tower has already happened. So again, truth, revelation, an event that happens, someone's actions, that can potentially cause some kind of ending. The star, however, coming after the tower is signaling new hope, blessings, wish fulfillment, but sometimes we have to have faith and move forward in faith because there's an indication here something has ended. Something's gone. 
with the five of cups but all is not lost in this situation you know and even though you're still dealing with the emotional ramifications of that it's still about moving on from what was to what will be and spirit really telling you you've got every reason to be hopeful and positive now even though something is gone of how this whole situation is going to pan out so that's what i'm seeing for you there's a blessing a blessing coming in linked with wish fulfillment because justice with the five of swords it's it's a victory this is a hard one victory with the justice card a just and fair decision that's in the light of truth that restores balance and harmony justice a lot of the time can be an incoming decision that you're getting uh, that restores balance, that's fair, that's honourable, that's right, that's true, where truth is seen. Nothing escapes justice. So the eyes of justice as well, you know, this will be everything becomes clear. How someone might have deceived you in some way. And again, the five of swords is some kind of victory as a result of that. So this decision is very favourable for you indeed here, Gemini. Now, I will say if this was you making some kind of decision, it would be to remove yourself from a situation. Um, even though there's things that you're going to miss, you just move forward in faith because you were hurt, deeply hurt, deeply wounded and conflict ensued as a result of someone's actions. So this is coming to some kind of acceptance of something has gone, but moving forward in faith as a result of that. For a lot of you, this feels like a... a a kind of legal type decision but we can also make our own choices and decisions in justice make the right choice even though we sacrifice something along the way you know we have the ten of swords a painful ending with the ten of wands liberating from a weight a burden an experience letting it all go so this is the process ends either by your decision or by a decision coming in. But either way, this is the end of a painful scenario here. The Ten of Swords, feeling stabbed in the back, betrayed, thrown under the bus, deeply wounded, deeply hurt. But it's an ending. Those dark clouds are lifting. The new light is coming in. Even though it's been painful up to this point, you get to liberate from this now. And it's with a judgment. Again, the Ten of Wands liberate from the whole weight and burden of this experience. Because you can't carry this experience any longer, you know. This is the energy here of you either get to, to um, a process ends and you liberate from that burden or you decide to. And that's judgment. Judgment can be a decision that's made for us, an incoming decision where it brings that sense of resolution, a final decision you know, that's generally not to be argued with, certainly if it's an incoming decision. This is generally a final decision coming in, and that brings the end to a process. You can finally liberate from that, but it's saying at the end of this process, you're going to be victorious, even though it's cost you. Similarly, the judgment card can be you making some kind of significant choice at a crossroads. Deep down, I know what the right choice is. The right choice is to end this because I've been betrayed, I've been hurt, I've been deeply wounded and I know I, know I need to move in this direction now in faith but it's difficult but I'm going to do it. This can be making that kind of significant life choice or decision for you. So however this resonates for you here, Gemini, the message is that you bring resolution to something that has caused a lot of hurt and pain. You've been deceived in some way, but that is ending. And as it ends, that weight is lifted. And that's what I'm seeing for you here. It's a powerful ending, but you're being told as you do that, you move forward in faith to new blessings and wish fulfillment. So all is not lost in this scenario even though it feels like it is. This is an energy here of you make the right choice and decision or the right choice and decision comes in for you and there's an end to this process 
but we move forward in faith to new blessings and wish fulfillment. This is only your renewal. And from here on in, you've got every reason to be optimistic and positive about the future because there's blessings coming your way. And that's what you're being told with the Three of Wands. As you turn your back on this situation here, there's something better coming your way. New ships are on the horizon coming into harbour. You don't know what's coming in. You can't quite make it out yet. But there is something very positive coming in for you. Okay. Final message for Gemini, please. Angel Spirits Guides. Final message for Gemini. Yeah, oh, powerful. Powerful, powerful. We have... Look, you know the cards, so beautiful, magical gateway and new beginnings. And there's always a reason when this card comes out, it ties in perfectly with this reading. You are at some kind of gateway. There is either some kind of decision coming into you or you're making it. But this is absolutely from here on in, there is a new door opening for you and you step into the unknown. Have faith, there's blessings coming your way. So we have magical gateway it takes courage and trust to venture into the unknown yet this is where the greatest rewards are it's time to step boldly forward without looking back you're being told don't look back this is the black cloak it's time to exchange that for looking forward the red cloak inspiration confidence action passion beautiful energies we have new beginnings this fairy godmother heralds the joyous news of a new baby or the birth of a cherished idea protect and nurture your ideas as you would a baby yeah there's just every ending has a new beginning and this is what spirit is telling you that's what i have for you gemini for the first half of june pretty powerful reading you're being told let it let go and make space for the new because you don't see it now, but there's something beautiful coming your way. If you enjoyed this, please do like, share and subscribe. Have a wonderful first half. I will see you next time.